welcome back to my channel, Drink Crafts with Paige. I am Paige, and this week I am drinking a midday mimosa. Does it still count as a mimosa if I made it with a juice other than orange juice? Either way, there's champagne in here. <laughs> a couple months ago, actually probably closer to like a year ago, my perception of time is all thrown off because of COVID. I decided to order myself a super fun custom pair of sweatpants and I got our logo or like the Drunk Crafts with Paige splat printed on them. But due to wear and washing, the pair of sweatpants kind of fell apart and the logo began to fade, which was very sad because they were a very comfy pair of sweatpants. Naturally, I had to buy myself a new pair and so we have these just plain black, sweatpants from Amazon. This means that we're going to have to add some color to them. So we are going to be painting this pair of pants today. And if you'd like to see how they turn out, please continue watching. As stated, this pair of sweatpants is just plain old black. I have been wearing them. They are also very comfy. So I hope this paint job turns out okay. <laughs> We are going to be using this fabric painting medium, which we have used before when we made our beautiful pair of slime neon green shoes. And this fabric painting medium, you can just add it to any acrylic paint and it gives you a washable permanent paint for fabric. So this is what we're going to be adding to our paint to get it to actually stay to the fabric. And we're just gonna jump right into the decorating part. A couple of things before we jump into the paint part. The instructions on this fabric painting medium do advise that you pre-wash the fabric without softener. This pair of pants recently came out of the wash, so we are all good with that. And it tells you to mix two to one paint to medium. So when I mixed up my paints, this is the medium that I used rather than the pouring medium. We just added this fabric painting medium and on one of my paints I did have to add a little water just to kind of water it down. So we have, we've got black because that's what we're going to paint like as our base. It's gonna be black just to make it the same color as the pants. I've got the purple metallic paint from Sargent Art that I love so very much and a very light purple. I figured because the last pair of pants that I had had my nice little logo on the side. I wanted to stick with those colors. I wanted to stick with the shades of purple. I would like to just kind of decorate near one of the pockets. So we've got our pocket here and I plan on painting this area. And I did put a piece of cardboard inside. If you have pockets that you can like flip inside out so they don't get covered in paint or stuck to your pants, I would recommend that. I think that's everything. Everything is all mixed up. I am also not using silicone for this. I don't want silicone on fabric pants. <laughs> so we're not going to be using that for this project. We did our fancy shoes. We kind of did a Dutch pour. So we're gonna see what we can do on a flat surface. We're gonna put down the black first And just kind of just a little bit move it around and now let's try the dark purple and then some of the light purple I'm just gonna try to blow it out like I said with with my breath some go in one direction I'm gonna add it a little bit more like going downwards now let me tell you working with fabric is very difficult because it doesn't the paint doesn't really flow like it does on just a canvas because the fabric wants to absorb it I 
I'm gonna kind of extend it just a little bit farther down the pant leg. Well, that's kind of cool. Okay, I've decided to kind of actually Dutch pour with this. And this may turn out totally terrible and ruin everything we've already done, but. Kind of did. <laughs> that from the shoes that it's best to work small. So we're gonna go ahead and just let this dry. I'm not sure how long it would take because there is quite a bit of paint on there I'll let you guys know but we'll come back when it's done and we're gonna take an up close look at it it's only been one day so our paint a majority of it is not dry but I did decide that I would like to try to put the font the drunk crafts with page on our nice little paint blob so I'm gonna try to use this big old purple blob that's right in the center I saved the black that we used yesterday and I'm going to do my best to try to paint on some drunk crafts and if I can do the fancy font I'll include the with page on the bottom as well. So we're just going to time lapse and quickly go through that. sweatpants should be totally dry by now and I'll explain what I mean why I'm a little unsure but here they are they are so shiny and cool the paint is pretty thick it's about the thickness of like a paint skin that we would have but it doesn't want to peel off of these sweatpants that's good that's what we wanted we wanted the paint to stick to the fabric but in some of these places where it is especially thick it feels kind of tacky and I think that's just kind of like having a vinyl or some kind of decal on your shirt it's just gonna feel kind of plasticky but I'm pretty positive that all this paint is dry on here and I'm really glad we decided to add the drunk crafts with page font on there I think it just adds something extra maybe I could have done it in white but I love it it's nice and subtle this is gonna be my new favorite pair of sweatpants I will still give you guys nice up close shots outside in the natural light so you can take a good look at them. I 
thank you guys so much for watching my video. All of you makes my heart so happy. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I have a whole slew of things down in my description box below for my Facebook page, my Instagram page, and my PayPal account if you feel like donating, as well as a list of all the materials that I used if you feel like trying to recreate anything at home. I will see you guys all for the next video. Cheers! <laughs>